Back in action, we're back in the action, boys. Uh, not gonna lie to you guys, man. This is actually one of the first videos in a few weeks that uh, I'm actually completely sober in, which is great. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Glad to hear a bunch of five-year-old kids are excited about that. Now, when I say sober, you guys know I've been having back problems lately. Nerve damage in my back, which is why uploading has been scarce. I've just been on a bunch of medication to help that feel better. But good news, finally a day, I actually feel really good. So we got real name brand and not little loopy. Hey man, I'm not in pain right now because I'm on some medication brand. Anyway boys, getting into the video today, a little bit different, but maybe not. As you guys know, if you've watched a lot of my older videos, I'm into these hype beast items and stuff like that. As y'all can see by what's around me, I like Supreme. I'm kind of a nerd that way. It's weird. We think people that read books are nerds. I got a f***ing Supreme vase back there. It's weird, but I love it, you know? So anyway, I thought I'd go back to the old roots today and do a kind of a cool video that I thought would be really dope. That kind of involves two of my favorite things. Cool, hype these weird sh and then just like unboxing really stupid things that I like to kind of make fun of and play with. So that's what we're doing. I thought we'd lump it all in together today and call this video unboxing hype beast items that never existed or unboxing weird hype beast items that don't exist that they never I don't really know. I'm gonna title it in whatever way I feel fit for this to get views. You know what I mean? YouTube's weird that way. Apparently I can't talk about every video. This is nuts. Now before we get into that, first thing, if you guys want to give this video a big thumbs up, that would be awesome. Leave a comment down below. It all helps. YouTube, once again, has not been sharing my stuff. When you do that, it really helps me out, so that would be awesome. And last thing, this video is actually sponsored by me today. Us. Our website. Our new website. Link is down below. It's called NameBrandFan.com. My team gave me the go-ahead saying, Brand, you should probably sponsor your website today in this video, because I think it might get views, and that team's me. Thought it'd be a good idea. So, anyway, if you guys are looking for any cool jewelry stuff like this. I saw a bunch of that. I saw phone cases. I saw slides. I saw like Selena Gomez stuff. Whatever we talk about on the channel, I sell it on the website. And a lot of it's free. You just gotta pay shipping. Now obviously it's not gonna be real gold and stuff like this, but you can get this exact thing on the website, which is really cool. I, I put it on and I bought it from the website and I really like it. It's kind of big. I haven't really like adjusted it yet, but I feel like it gives me some sort of comfort, you know? Like when you're wearing an extra large shirt and you're kind of tiny, it just makes you feel kind of gangster like that. So anyway, NameBrandFam.com, link is down below. So like I said, I'm showing you guys hype beast items that I bought online that don't exist, that maybe should exist because they're really cool, or shouldn't exist because they're just really bad. Now when I was shopping for this video, I found a bunch of stuff. I do have to be honest with you guys, I plan out my videos. This was the day I was supposed to film the video, and a lot of stuff I got off of AliExpress and DHgate and stuff like that, a lot of it didn't come in. I don't know if it's lost in transit, it's been lost for months, so I'm just going to give you guys a video of what I have right here. It's only two things, but one of them is really, really dope. It's probably in the thumbnail. I could you, I could literally just do a video based on that alone. So I think it's okay. And if that other stuff ends up coming in, we could do a part two. Let me know. But first off, getting into it today, I uh, found a hype beast item. Once again, I was just looking for the worst things possible or just the worst fakes I could find because I think it's funny. And also, if I want to, I'll just go to like, we have a new Adidas store. I'm already banned from it. If I, if I really want to, I think it'd be really funny to go take back these horrible shoes that are really bad to the Adidas store. Getting into the first thing I found on the internet. <laughs> oh! Coffee. The first thing we got, and I'm just gonna go through this fast because one of the items, which again is really dope and I really want to unbox it, is a pair of Yeezys. <laughs> now this right here, <laughs> they make .01 pound, which is crazy. They're quite light. They're actually probably just made of styrofoam. I just thought these were really funny because it says Sport 550. It's supposed to say Yeezy Supply, whatever. Um, they were just really bad, at least to me. I know Yeezys. As you guys know, I've had 25 pairs of Yeezys in the past that I've destroyed, so I know how to legit check all of them. Anyway, this is supposed to be white. All this boost is supposed to be white. This is not supposed to be rubber at all. It's not supposed to do this or crack. What the You're not supposed to cradle your balls in a shoe like this. Like, it shouldn't be a ball cup. You know what I mean? It should be a little bit less of a cradle. That being said, that's what I got in the mail. I, I guess a quick bonus thing. You guys keep asking me about this, and it really fits in with the video, even though I didn't just buy it. This is another type of thing I was trying to find for the video. Once again, part two coming soon. But uh, things like this. This is the only fake thing in my room, but I call this a custom more because it's an actual airsoft. It's an airsoft, but it has Supreme Louis Vuitton. So anyway, that's what I found. Sorry that all the other stuff didn't come in, but let's get on to the big guns now, because I'm stoked. <laughs> this is going to be legendary. No cap. Or cap, I'm not really sure what the difference is there. So this right here is kind of what gave me the idea for this video. Uh, I spent $500 on it, and you might be saying why, and I'm gonna tell you because it's super sick, that's why. Uh, but anyway, let's open this up, and uh, we gotta take a look at this, boys. 
Ah, there we go. All right, boys. So what we're looking at here is a two-player versus arcade machine. I don't know what controller means in Chinese, but it's a machine. This is really funny to me. Also so dumb because one, arcade machines are really dope, right? Also, I think Supreme's dope, but they've never done this. They've made a Supreme pinball machine. That thing goes for like 50 grand, but it's just really funny to me how many things that you can get that people just slap Supreme or any other company on. Like literally anything. There's Supreme Game Boys. There's so much stuff. And I saw the biggest thing that I could find and the coolest thing that I could find that doesn't exist that's a little dumb and I had to cop it. So anyway, that's my little reason for getting this thing. I think this could be a really cool type of video series in the future, but let's open this thing up, check it out. <laughs> okay, cool packaging so far. Very sick. Good. Parts? I can't build anything. Oh, oh, my bad. We have instructions right here, so this is gonna go perfectly. Oh, baby. All right. Okay, so I gotta be careful here because this thing's standing on four boxes. My tripod's broken. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna turn off the camera if I move anymore. That thing's gonna fall off every box that I have it stacked on. And uh, I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like all put together. We're gonna play this thing, man. Present you the Supreme Machine 2.0, or as they call it, the Galloping Ghost. So here it is, boys, the Supreme Arcade Machine. This thing looks sick. It probably should. It was $500, the most expensive dumb Supreme item slash sick one I could find. And it actually, man, it looks like it's, it actually looks like it can play. I'm not even gonna lie. So as y'all can see on the first side, you got one person that sits here. On the other side, you got another person that sits here, which means you get the Eiffel Tower of the thing. You know what I mean? You play back to back with each other. Boom, all of a sudden you're making love. But well, you guys, let me know what you think about this thing. I still gotta put in all the cords in it and stuff like that. We're gonna give her a try but I could not pass up on this thing and also I do want to say if you guys think I should take this to a pawn shop and see how much I could get for it you guys let me know because it is an arcade machine they're gonna take it and they don't know Supreme so maybe they'll be like oh damn that thing is shit it's giving you a little spin around right there boys definitely I haven't even played it yet but it's not worth $500 I'll tell you that for free and I also have to say do not promote buying any fake items whatsoever uh, this is just for entertainment purposes literally because I'm gonna play this thing you know I, I don't know who I'm gonna play it with, but maybe a friend if I had one of those. All right, so it's starting up right now. See the LED system? It says Pandora's Box 9, which is sick. That's better than 8, 7, 6, and all of them. Let's go, buddy. Well, it's got a lot of games if I could work the damn thing. So I'm just gonna get all tech on you guys for a second. As you can see, this beautiful LED light system goes from red to green to blue to probably purple. See, there we go, I've watched it a few times. To red again. Very beautiful on-screen display. We have the buttons here, obviously, for your fingers, and we got a little diddle stick right here. Overall, I'd give this piece of equipment a great review. Except the damn thing doesn't work. Toggle says toggle to select a game. That stuff's not moving. All right, man, this is the best view I could give y'all, but as y'all can see, you toggle through, that volume's mad loud. Oriental Legend Super, dope. Doesn't make sense at all, let's do it. I'm oh, sorry, what's that? No, that's not good. Okay, bye. All right, so I'm gonna stop that there because I have gone on a couple games and there is some weird, weird emblems, I would say that aren't necessarily appropriate. Anyway, I'm gonna stop there. I don't want to get any copyright from the games. That's the review of it. I think it's sickish, you know, it's cool. I'm just gonna try to take it back now and get more money for it. Appreciate y'all for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know with a comment, like. Y'all are making the game the greatest of all time. Name brand fans real strong, blah.